Good afternoon. Welcome to a video that will discuss the Major League Baseball DraftKings slate uh, for Tuesday, April 11, 2017. This is Gus Almashini from Advanced Sports Analytics, and we're going to discuss a few pitchers as well as some worthwhile stacks uh, so you can take down uh, or make some great money for the main slates today. So obviously we're not including the two morning games, but the main slate uh, I believe includes uh, 10 games um, starting around 4 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time. So we're going to start with Cole Hamels, um, ace for the Texas Rangers. Um, so he's got some pretty good numbers against uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Um, you can see uh, having 209 at-bats, they've only had four home runs. Pujols has most of them, but six with 35, and he's a bit over the hill, only a 171 batting average. Uh, Trout, not much of a threat, 102 for 10. Um, most of the other guys, uh, pretty pretty good sample size. I mean, Maven's probably the best person, but not a serious, so especially with 10 strikeouts. Um, so Cole Hamels does have a, a pretty good tack, track record against the Angels. Uh, if you look at his uh, distribution of DraftKings points for last season, um, we can see he averages about 20 DraftKings points um, per game. Um, he's had some uh, past 20, even some around the 40s. So he's definitely very capable of having a phenomenal game uh, today. Uh, another pitcher that we're uh, interested in having is a J.A. Happ of the Blue Jays, another lefty, uh, another ace. And the reason why we like Happ is that he um, has great numbers at home. Um, for the last three years, uh, he has a 2.89 ERA compared to 4.40 on the road. Um, strikeout numbers are a little bit better at home as well as well as a batting against average. Uh, not as many walks either. Uh, so more innings pitch, fewer walks, uh, fewer home runs. Those are all good things. Uh, and of course, he's at home. Uh, they're playing at the Rogers Center. Um, and if you look at his numbers at the Rogers Center for the last three years, uh, given that he wasn't with Toronto in 2015, but in 2014, 2016, great numbers. Uh, in uh, 29 starts, 3.03 uh, ERA, 18-7 win-loss record. 170 strikeouts over 181 innings pitched, and we're going to talk about the strikeouts in a sec. But that's very important to note, especially the uh, low walk number is pretty good, uh, because if you look at the Brewers last season, um, they whiffed like crazy. They led the National League in strikeouts, uh, 1,543. So they're hackers, um, and Hap can probably get to them today. So, um, may, you know, allow maybe some earned runs here or there, but he'll definitely make up for it with strikeouts and innings pitch. So Hap's another really strong uh, pitcher to go with. And of course, his distribution, uh, this is a ratio of DraftKings points to $1,000, per $1,000 uh, distribution. And it's really tight, which is good. Uh, we've seen that with a lot of the aces so far this season. When you have that tight distribution, you ex expect consistency. Uh, that was definitely true with uh, Bumgarner over the weekend. Um, also true with the Leicester, and we had a, a Sale and Verlander pitchers duel yesterday. So you got a tight distribution and um, averaging close to 2.5 um, points per $1,000. Um, and given that half is going for about $8,000, we could expect a 20-point game out of him today. Um, then another pitcher, if you're looking to save a little money and spend more on offense, is Lance Lynn. Uh, we don't have any data from last year for obvious reasons. He was injured. But a strong history against the Nationals. Um, Bryce Harper's done okay, two for eight, but everyone else, really not great, we're three for uh, 12. Zimmerman has been hot, but two for 10. Murphy, uh, six for 17, but he's been kind of cold. So, um, yeah, and Lynn was definitely, um, you know, interesting. Um, ha came in with, I think, I believe a pinch homer yesterday, but two for 13. So Lynn could be another option. Um, so in summary, we like Hamels, Happ, and Lynn. Uh, if you can get Hamels and Happ together and then figure out a way to uh, come up with a good offense. Um, I think you have a really great lineup. Um, Hamels is pricey, but strong hits against Angels. Very reliable pitcher. Um, uh, you know, you know, if he keeps up, he might, you know, be uh, in route to the Hall of Fame. Um, Hap, great at home with strong strikeout numbers. Brewers tend to whiff often, so uh, Hap is actually probably, I think, the best value. And Lynn uh, could be good if you're trying to save some money. Let's talk about offense. Um, we got the St. Cardinal stack. Uh, we got Fowler, Piscotti, and Molina. Um, Fowler, Piscotti, we like because they're very strong against left-handed pitchers. 
Uh, their no, uh, splits between left and right-hand pitchers is significant, uh, much better against lefties, which makes sense given that they bat right-handed. Uh, Fowler also has an amazing rec- record against uh, Gio Gonzalez. I believe he's 10 for 20. Uh, the bang line correlation is strong for one and four hitters. Fowler's a leadoff. This guy's cleanup. Um, Carp- Molina could be okay, too, if you're looking to uh, squeeze a catcher in for the stack. Um, Carpenter and Adams, uh, they struggle mightily against southpaws. Um, so my guess is um, Mike Matheny will probably um, put them um, on the bench and uh, go with um, Fowler and Piscotti. Uh, given that they're strong against left-handed pitchers, given that Gio Gonzalez is a lefty. Uh, here's Gio's numbers over the last um, 10 years. Um, of course, this is are his career stats. And we can see that um, he's kind of started to slide a little bit. Uh, his ERA has uh, gone up um, every year since 2012. Uh, that's when he had 4.5 war, 120 games. This hot pitcher that the A's let go, which they usually do. But he's kind of struggled lately. And so... Um, and of course, uh, he did well this, you know, so start this year. But we have a feeling against a uh, strong uh, Cardinals lineup that he may uh, have some trouble, uh, trouble today. And of course, uh, his history against uh, the Cardinals not great. Uh, batting against average three seventeen, and again, uh, Fowler's numbers are phenomenal. Uh, Ten for twenty, OPS one point three seven four. Molina's pretty solid. Um, Carpenter, of course, not great, and he'll probably uh, maybe be on the bench or just won't be very effective, um, which is why we like the 1-4. Fowler can get on, and then, of course, if Piscotti, um, not great numbers, 1-5, for five, but small sample size, could probably bring uh, Fowler home. Gonzalez's uh, distribution is kind of all over the place, too, not very tight. Um, definitely last year he had some uh, games where um, he didn't have a great ratio. Uh, he does cost a lot of money, I think $8,000, so, of course, this is not going to be um, the best option. So we think uh, Carlos can do well. And here's the correlation. Um, the 1-3, one, 1-4, one, four. One, four being the best correlation at 0.28. And that's where we would expect Fowler and um, uh, Piscotti to be batting. Colorado, Colorado Rockies stack. Uh, the Rockies are due. They haven't done much so far this year, but um, they're due to really pop off. Uh, Jared Weaver is getting up there in age. Forms has regressed over the past few seasons. Um, you can do a lot of different stacks with Colorado, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, all have strong correlations. Uh, consider several combos for Colorado today. Here's Weaver's career stats. Uh, promising career, uh, start off pretty strong, uh, great Cal State Fulton. Uh, one year, won 20 games 2012, but since then has regressed, just like Gio Gonzalez. His ER actually has gone up every year since 2011. And, um, you know, not much experience pitching Colorado. We'll see how he does, but... You know, weak strikeout numbers, weak strikeout to walk ratio. So, um, and he actually was a liability in terms of war last year. So he could be a liability for the uh, sorry for the Padres in Colorado today. And again, very um, wide distribution here. This is not good. Um, he can definitely struggle today. And so the Rockies are due to pop off. It's probably going to be against Weaver. And again, correlations one, two, three. They look good. Two, three, four also look good. 3-4 is good. Uh, I'd probably go with the top of the line instead of the bottom of the lineup if you're going to go with the Rockies and do different combinations or just go 1-4. through four. And more specific players, uh, Blackman with Matthew. Those are one and two hitters. Uh, Blackman with Gonzalez. Uh, Arenado with Blackman or Matthew or Gonzalez. Um, all those look like really, really solid options for today. Uh, Story could also be good, too, if you want to squeeze him in. Um, and Reynolds, uh, what the heck, go one through six, one through seven. But uh, we expect the Rockies to uh, finally pop off today. Uh, we're going to end off with the Marlins, and we're going to get into de- uh, really deep um, detail with Gordon here. Um, so Gordon is um, obviously a second baseman. Um, Real Mato, catcher, stand, outfield, yellow outfield. Uh, Bartolo Colon will be pitching for uh, the Braves. Um, old man, st- done well in his 40s, but he's going to uh, have some trouble. Uh, at least we think. Uh, his history against Marlins hitters are not great. The batting correlation, line correlation is fairly strong for the Marlins. Uh, Real Moto is unreal right now. He leads the league in batting average, having a great season. Gordon is too, and Stan is due. He's definitely due, just like the Rockies that really pop off today. Um, here are Cologne's numbers. Uh, Gordon, 10 for 29. Um, Yellick, 11 for 33. Real Moto, 9 for 21. Um, St- uh, Staten, 6 for 15 with two homers, uh, strong OPS. 
So uh, Cologne may um, feel like he might need to retire soon if he doesn't do well. He's almost 44. So uh, the Marlins may make, make him feel like an old man today. Kind of wide distribution from last year. Had some strong games, um, but had some weak games too. So something to consider. And also wide distribution for his DraftKings points, the $1,000 distribution. So um, definitely we feel uh, Cologne may struggle. Now here's why we like Gordon. He's one of the best base deals in the game. You got five points for a stolen base. The catch for the Braves are two of the worst at preventing stolen bases. Uh, Gordon, I believe, is four for five at stealing base against Flowers, if he is the starting catcher. It's Kurt Suzuki. He's three for three lifetime, I believe. Um, of course, you can't steal if you're not on base, but Gordon's 10 for 29 against Cologne, and Cologne is 44 years old, so I'm not sure if you can pick him off. Also, the current manager for the Marlins is Don Mattingly. He knows that he's Gordon from their days in L.A. So Gordon could be um, a really strong play if he gets on base. You get points there. And, of course, gets stolen base. You get five more points. He scores a run. Something like, Stat something like Staten or um, Rilmoto brings him home. Uh, this is all good stuff. Um, and, again, here are Fowler's stats in terms of um, catching bases. It's horrible. Last year, 2016, he got 60 stolen bases, only caught three. That's atrocious. Um, it hasn't really been that great. And um, I believe there are some games in which, um, if you look here, um, in which... Uh, sorry, Gordon um, stole three bases against um, Flowers. This is last year, I think, September 14th. So he's, you know, uh, Gordon could do really well. And Suzuki, not great numbers also. 52 stolen bases allowed, and only 12 caught stealing in 2015. Also terrible. Um, yeah, whoever's start, starting catcher is not going to be able to uh, catch Gordon. And I think Manley is going to send Gordon, give him the green light to keep running around the bases. So, and then finally we have the distribution for Gordon. Um, you know, it depends with hitters, uh, but if you look at uh, past 20, there's a little spike there. So he's had some good games, and it's somewhat bimodal. So we could expect a pretty strong game from Gordon today. And again, this is his um, ratio as well. So, yeah, no, uh, you know, Gordon's going for about three to $4,000, ratio 5 to 1. We could see a very, very great game from Gordon. Other worthwhile stacks, Boston and Toronto, uh, high run told by Vegas for both teams. Uh, they have strong history against today's opposing starting pitchers. And um, you know, the Red Sox Blue Jays are at home. They tend to hit the ball well while at home. Okay, that concludes the video, and good luck today.